Did you ever play Stump the Leader? Yes, I know it's a boy's game, but sometimes the girls play it too. Here's how you play it. The boys get in line, and the first boy is the leader. Whatever the first boy does, the other boys are supposed to do after him. If the leader climbs a tree, then all the other boys are supposed to climb the tree. Now, if you can't do what the leader does, or are afraid to do what he does, then you are stumped. If you are stumped, you are out of the game. That's what we call the game of Stump the Leader. Well, one day, three boys, Art, Joe, and Pat, were playing Stump the Leader. Art was the leader, and Joe and Pat followed him. First, Art jumped the fence. Then, Joe and Pat jumped the fence. Art pulled a cat's tail, and then Joe and Pat had to find cats and pull their tails. The game went on for an hour, and whatever Art did, Joe and Pat did. Joe and Pat refused to be stumped. Then Art got an idea. He went into a church. Joe and Pat followed him, and one, two, three, they marched down the aisle until they reached the front of the church. Art knelt down, held out his arms, and said, Jesus, let me live to be a hundred years old. Art laughed to himself. He was sure that he had stumped his two friends. Joe thought a minute. Then Joe knelt down, and he held his arms out too. Jesus, he said, let me live to be a thousand years old. And Joe laughed to himself, because he knew that he hadn't been stumped. Then came Pat. He thought and thought for a long, long time. Then Pat raised his arms, and he prayed, Jesus, let me live to be a million years old. Just then the door of the sanctuary opened, and out walked the priest, Father Durkin. He had been listening to the boys, and he asked them what they were doing. The boys told the priest that they were playing Stump the Leader. Father Durkin told how he had heard them asking Jesus to let them live a hundred years, a thousand years, and a million years. Father Durkin began to smile. Art, he said, you're going to get your wish. You will live a hundred years. A hundred years from now you will still be alive. Art wondered. Then Father Durkin looked at Joe. Joe, he said, you're going to get your wish too. You will live a thousand years. A thousand years from now you will still be alive. Joe's eyes popped with surprise. Then Father Durkin turned to Pat. Pat, said Father Durkin, you are going to get your wish too. You will live a million years. A million years from now you will still be alive. Pat's hair almost stood up straight. He was so surprised. Father Durkin knew that the boys couldn't understand, so he began to explain. Boys, he said, it's just like this. Your body will die in a few years, and it will be buried away down in the ground. But the thing that makes you go, your soul, why, that will never die. Even after your body is dead and down in the grave, your soul will still be alive. A hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, a million years from now. Your soul will never, never, never die. Boys and girls, a million, million, million years from today, you will all be alive. You will be alive, all right. But where will you be? If you've been bad, you will spend all of those years down in hell with the devils. If you've been good, if you've lived well while you were on this earth, then your soul will live forever and ever up in heaven with Jesus. I hope that the souls of every little boy and girl in this church will live for millions and millions of years up there in heaven with Jesus. It's worth trying for, isn't it?